All right, so I have my wig. I have my adhesive. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on the lace first and then we gonna start the timer. So before we begin, I'm going to, I got this tip from Danielle Naomi on YouTube. Um, so I'm taking my foundation brush and I'm just taking the extra foundation that's on the brush from the last time I did my makeup and I'm applying that to the lace, okay? And that's just to help it blend a little bit more, but also not put too much makeup on there. Because sometimes when you take the makeup straight from the bottle and try to apply it, then you add too much and then it looks cakey, like makeup-y. So, I'm doing that first. And I don't know if you guys can see, it's tinted just a little bit, not even a lot. I'm going to cut the lace and then I'm going to start my timer. And we're going to see... How fast or how slow I can lay this lace. I'll speed up the process, but I'm gonna keep my timer on the whole entire I'm gonna keep my timer on the whole entire time. So you guys know exactly how long it took. Y'all, 
y'all. That say six minutes, six minutes, to me six minutes to lay down the lace. Now that's the initial laying down the lace. It's a couple pieces that is kind of sticking up just a little bit. I'm gonna go back in and fix those, but six minutes, that's not bad, hunty. Okay, let me find out. So I'm just gonna add like a little teeny weeny bit of glue in these little spots that's still sticking up and I'm using ghost bomb by the way actually I think that was the only spot so it took me six minutes and 32 seconds to get it on it did take a little longer than normal simply because I had some technical difficulties with these ear tabs now my ear is like really tight under these ear tabs so I'm hoping that um what I ended up doing was applying the wig with the ear tab over my ear or the wig over my ear and now I'm pulling my ears out um yeah like when I was trying to pull the sides to attach it to my skin it was giving me technical difficulties but I pulled out my ears and it feels fine now so now that this is late, hunt tea, yay, 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 we're gonna style. But before we style, I'm going to use my bandana to uh, hold this lace down for a couple minutes before I actually start going in and messing with it. But I am gonna use my hot comb really quick. But while I am sitting here with the bandana on, um, I'm not sure if I said this before, but this is loose deep wave hair. So it's like right in between loose wave and deep wave. So it's loose deep wave. Um, so this hair, I'm going to see what it can do once I wet it. It's a little damp, but it's not completely wet. So I'm going to wet it and brush it out and stuff like that. And we're going to see like how the texture actually look when it's defined. Um, but other than the problem with the ear tabs wiccan's hair did wonderful with this wig um the lace looks great yeah the lace looks great so i'm really excited about that because a lot of companies end up sending me boo-boo lace and then the the, the wig be looking boo-boo when you get on like the hair be pretty but the lace be boo-boo so i'm very thankful for this wonderful lace color i'm back back and back and I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Let's take this off. See what's going on under here. Okay, so my sideburn definitely slid back on this side. I don't know what she thought she was doing. This one is fine. This won't start doing anything. So we're going to fix that. Cause that's not cute. So if y'all want to add a minute to my time, that's fine. Because I don't know what this side is doing, hold on. So let me just say this. If I have anything bad to say uh, about this uh, company, they need to work on the actual construction of the wigs as far as making them able to fit on human heads because this um these sideburns aren't trying to stay because my ears are out of the lace like it's like the sideburns want me to keep my ears in the lace which is not cool because the whole point of having a frontal wig is so that it can be realistic and you can put it behind your ear and all that stuff so like this side is behind my ear fine but this side my ear is under the actual wig and that's the only way that this side is staying down so um yeah i will say if i had any criticism criticism for the company that would definitely be it because that's not cool uh people spend their money in you know want to get what they pay for shoot i do so what i'm gonna do i have this mousse that i actually got from couponing um i think i don't remember how much i paid for it probably nothing um but if you don't follow my vlog channel make sure you do follow that so you guys can 
check out um, some really good deals. Um, couponing and getting hair products and other things almost free if not free. Um, but yeah, so I got this because I was trying to do a certain deal and this was included in the deal. So I just got it, but not necessarily because I wanted it. Um, so we're just going to try it anyway. And this is the Pantene Volume Mousse. Don't ask me why it says volume because I'm not sure. I don't know. But that's what we're using today. I'm going to do it this way because of this sideburn. This sideburn over here don't want to act right. So I ain't finna mess with it. I'm going to take a little bit more of the mousse. Ooh, that's so satisfying. And I'm going to stick it in the hair instead of wetting it. So we can kind of get like that wet look, but it ain't wet though. You really don't have to add no baby hairs because it looks good the way it is. But like I said, the main issue for me is that ear tab. Not even just for Wiggins hair, but all companies. I've had so many companies where they actually sent me a wig and the wig did not even, I couldn't even do anything with it. Like I couldn't even make the video because the ear tabs were so bad. So I just feel like this is like a problem all around the wig community. Like if the hair companies want people to buy their lace wigs, it's just the wigs need to be constructed for a human head. Like if they're not sure they need to try these on before they actually send these to people and make more than one of these because this isn't the first time that I've gotten a wig where I couldn't fit the ear tabs. Like I couldn't fit the where the ear tabs weren't working out for me. So, but we gonna do what it do, make it work today. But um, if y'all want me to do a video on things you, go, you should look out for when you're ordering from a company or um, as far as online and then also like when you get it to know whether or not you have a good wig or not, if y'all want me to make that, I definitely will because I don't want y'all out here getting jipped for money. If y'all want me to do a video on knowing like the whole process, like knowing whether or not you're picking a good company uh, just from looking at their website and then knowing if you got a good wig when you first get it and all that good stuff. But if yeah, if y'all want that video, just let me know. I got y'all because before all of the hair, like before people were sending me stuff, I was purchasing everything that I used on my channel myself. Um, but I feel like this is as good as it's going to get with the current circumstances. But uh, once again, shout out to Wiggins Hair for um, sponsoring this video. Um, but please take into account what I did mention about the ear tabs because that is like so, 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 so important. Um, like I said, black girls don't take their hair lightly, so it needs to be right, it needs to be good, it needs to be perfect when we get it. We don't have time to be dealing with this, especially when you've been waiting for your wig to come in the mail and then you put it on it on your fit. Like, no, that's not cool. Um, but yeah, so basically I finished applying my wig in six minutes or 32 seconds though. So let me know, like y'all try it out, try melting your wig. Uh, time me yourself and tell me what time y'all get. Tell me if y'all faster than me. Let me know. Yeah, I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this honest review and video. Um, but I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.